mentioned in Julius, the Knicks have another all-star who can mm -hmm. play outside of Jalen Brunson, uh, but he was beset by a tough shoulder injury last year, and they didn't really have him, especially in the playoffs when I thought they really needed him. They really needed another dynamo yeah. that could help bend that defense and create for others. How what's, what's your advice to him in terms of just getting back into the flow with these guys and just leading this team to, to meet their expectations? Well, you mentioned the shoulder injury. injury. It looked real bad when we was there. I think I was on the front row. And uh, the, the main thing is to just make sure you're healthy. Make sure you're healthy. Make sure your health is there because you, you, and then you can come. He was having a great year. He was having a great year. And if he's healthy and he comes back, Jalen and the rest of the squad, they all respect him. Tib knows what Tib's respect him. And we'll be able to put him in a position to make sure, you know, uh, uh, you can be, be more successful for yourself and the team. So he's an all-star. He's a veteran now. And um, – I just, I, with Jalen being like the captain and this, and I think that, and being in his ear, and they, them two, I'm, from what I've seen, you know, I'm not in the locker room. They have a great rapport as far as teammates, a big man, a point guard, great rapport. So if we can just keep that up, I think the sky's the limit for Julius, even MVP for Julius. And I would like to see even more of a two-man connection between those guys on the court because what was noticeable when Julius was gone was that in Jalen, mm -hmm. we didn't have another guy who could set him up and get easy buckets. I mean, I think the stat was he shot like 70% effective field goal percentage on on um, uh, on a shooting, on, on catching. Jalen did? Jalen. Mm -hmm. And so I'm saying if you have Julius Randle out there who can help spread that ball around mm -hmm. and it gets back to Jalen who can – get it off the catch. I think that makes them even more formidable. Well, both of those guys demand attention on defensive end. Like when Jalen gets to driving, and even when Jalen try to, you know, post sometime with the footwork, he demands attention, a double team, and the same with Julius. So with that combination, and then we get some shooters around, I mean, they're going to be hard to stop on the offensive end.